Imagine you're driving through farmland in Shoto County. As you pass Yursa Farms, something catches your attention. You look past the fence and see this. No, your eyes aren't playing tricks. That tractor has no driver. I'm pretty sure my grandparents can't even believe that it's happening. Miles it's away from so the comfort of his garage, I can't. Justin Yursa so. knows exactly what you're thinking. Most of them think I'm crazy. It's not something you see every day, for sure. Once you get past the initial shock, your next thought is undoubtedly, why? That's when it starts to sound less crazy. It's a business decision, not just a, a fun project. Yursa was looking to expand his wheat farming operation, but he wanted to spend money on land, not equipment. The issue is we were coming up to where we were at full capacity on our seeding equipment. So what's the next step? You, you have to have a whole nother person and, and another million dollar setup and then you have then you're way over capacity so i thought well what could we do to incrementally increase the answer was smaller equipment but who wants to sit on a small tractor all day and so i thought well what's out there for autonomous tractors this is a wide angle stereo camera after some research he discovered sabanto a company that specializes in autonomous agriculture and they were keen to help justin find solutions fast forward to to late late march and april we put a crash team together and um, worked on some capabilities that that were special for for justin and we've been here ever since and so on the farm here we've over the past couple of weeks, we've seeded close to 650 acres. And that's how Yursa Farms became home to what Justin and Corey believe is the first autonomous tractor in Montana. Day one, we had people stopping on the highway, turning around and, and videoing, day one. It's a John Deere model, retrofitted with cutting edge autonomous technology from Sabanto. So we can establish where, where are the proper working areas there. Programmed and controlled remotely from a cell phone. The cedar still has to be filled by hand. But once it starts, Yursa can focus on other tasks while the tractor does its job. No one's there right now, it's running fine. You can start it up, you can watch it on your phone or your desktop, and you can go home, have dinner with the family. You don't need to sit out there till the middle of the night to get stuff done. Yursa claims that going autonomous has saved him nearly $2 million on labor and equipment. Time will tell if this is the future of farming but for your son, it's a move that's already paying off. The first stuff that we seeded is already out of the ground. And that's all you can ask for for this stage. Tom Wiley, MTN News.